protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Boxing King Media in association with SaveMoreMoney.com uh, Tie and Booth, we're back here again Not in a pub this time, somewhere alcohol free Alcohol free and boxing in three days time You know, on a little boxing show So no alcohol today So alcohol always makes it a bit better for me You know what I mean? But I'm on the coffee today So we'll see how we get on I think people will find it interesting You're actually drinking coffee And there is definitely coffee in that I've, I've had a look, there's no... Uh, there's no echo folds in that cup. You don't ever drink alcohol? Never drank alcohol ever? Never. I'm hoping I never never ever have to get to that point. But you've obviously been alcohol free, I'm guessing, for a little while. Uh, what benefits have you had from that? Yeah, I've been alcohol free for about a week. You know, I've been detoxing, you know, and it feels good, you know. Uh, I don't know, I think alcohol does make things a little bit more, you know what I mean? Socially, anyway, it makes it... It's more chilled out, it's more, it's a better vibe. You see my streams, you know, I'm just talking drunk and bullshit throughout the night. So it's nice to detox, you know, and get ready for my fight on Saturday. So we're going to call this sober bullshit. Um, talking about your fight, I think it's worth clarifying and letting people know. I think you were given 40 tickets that you, you had because the event's going to be pretty much sold out anyway. So I think you're down to 20 odd tickets. So they're 40 pound each and it's, ringside tables with a waitress bar service and just to clarify it's a waitress bar service not the waitress included yeah me and the court are going to head out to a nice little you know what i mean venue you know to have a good time after the 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 shit that will show that i'm boxing on on saturday november the 11th come down that's it so um just to clarify time how do you want people to pay you for the tickets and uh, what's, this, yeah, what's the yeah you know when you talk like money and tickets and all that it's good to promote in it but it kind of i don't know man i don't know what did you say i uh, did the contact yeah, yeah you know you know what it is man well i'll do it for you Platinum boxers you know like thank the sponsors you know in interviews it's a bit dead in it or you know when there's a press conference and yeah. uh, the the person speaking says first of all i'd like to thank you all for coming it's all like bullshit that people aren't really bothered about, you know what I mean? So, but I know I've got to try and promote uh, this little show on Saturday, but yeah, if you want to come, just message me on um, the internet. Well, message tying on Instagram um, and the venue is funnily enough called The Venue and it's on uh, Hyde Street in Dudley. Obviously this Saturday, November the 11th, uh, I think your fight's going to be on around 9 p.m. onwards, something like that. It's the main event. Uh, you're actually fighting for a title as well, which you only found out a bit ago. You're fighting for the BCWCB super middleweight title. Yeah. Is it the first time you fought for a title? I've boxed for a few titles and always came up short, you know what I mean? I used to fade in my fights. Yeah. When I used to box in six rounders, I used to like win a lot of them. But, you know, when it would be like 10 rounds, I'd fade. But this is only a few rounds, so it's for a little silly belt. So I might finally pick up a belt have a few photos taken with the belt, put it up on the internet, you know, and try and get a bit of sexual attention from it. You know, because a lot of women don't really know about boxing like that, do they? You know this silly belt I'm boxing for, I could say it's a world title. Yeah, I've seen the belt turn and it's, I'll be honest, it's quite a nice looking belt. Um, but just to finish off, because I keep forgetting, you've got 20 odd tickets left and if people want them, they're literally just got to pay you and give you their name and you're going to put the name on the door and they're just going to rock up with some ID and they'll get in. So there's yeah. 20 odd left. If you guys want to come down and watch Tyne fight live uh, for a title, um, hit you up on Instagram. Yeah, the tickets are supposed to be 30 quid, but I've basically said to people, just give me whatever. Mm. So this little black guy on the internet, give me a tenner, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, when we started this interview, someone just gave me 20 quid as well on PayPal, so... Ten, but what do you think it's like a charity? What, do you know what? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a bullshit, you know what I mean? Mm. I, a lot of people in boxing over the years have tried to sell bullshit. Mm. You know, certain people from the gym have sold tickets, you know, for them to box a guy who's had two wins and 200 losses. And they try and build, build the fight up, you know, to make out like they're boxing somebody credible. You know, it's silly, isn't it? Fair play. Um, so you're fighting on Saturday. 
you're obviously under it because so a lot of people are still suggesting oh, you're not really fighting, you're not going to turn up, all that kind of stuff. I've seen you, you've been training earlier on today, you clearly lost a lot of weight. Uh, just tell me a little bit about your weight loss journey. Did you have like a target or have you just been like, just training, dieting, what have you been doing? Just been on the porridge, you know? Porridge, That's boring cool. porridge. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I knew this guy was going to... You alright, yeah? Unfortunately, it's enough. Don't move policy in Metal Hall. Mm. No, well, even uh, here, he, just... Even here, uh, unfortunately. I thought it would be alright with, like, nothing happening. Yeah, unfortunately not. Yeah. Uh, so, if you could just pack it away. Yeah. Uh, you're more than welcome to have coffee and whatever you need to do, but unfortunately, just no filming. Alright, okay. No, right. we'll just wrap right. it up. Thank you very much. No so, problem, yeah. Well, we just got told off for filming time, so... Yeah, it was... Happened. Shall we go and freeze our nuts off outside and just wrap yeah. it up outside? Yeah, we'll just finish off, innit? Because uh, it's, it's, all it's been is promo. Mm -hmm. Oh, you buy tickets, uh, find tickets, you can buy tickets here. It's a bit, it's a bit dead, so we need to <laughs> we're, we're spice just up to outside in the cold, yeah? Yeah, we're trying to sell, sell this uh, event on Saturday. Um, has your weight loss happened because you've not drank alcohol, is it like? Alcohol's high in calories, eating mm -hmm. boring porridge. I've been stressing because I've had a few uh, legal matters, you know what I mean? We don't need to go into it, but yeah, I got the all clear, so. You know, the show goes on Saturday in Dudley. In Some Dudley. shit old Dudley. And can you just clarify, you've never been to Dudley before, have no, you? No, no, no. I don't, think, I don't want to diss it too much because some locals from there are coming to the fight, you know what I mean? And they bought tickets, they're supporting me over the years, so I don't want to slag off Dudley. What, what, what's, what are you expecting from Dudley anyway? And what I'm doing is I'm pretending to wrap away so we can carry on talking yeah, until yeah, we get here. Yeah. What's, what, what's the, what's your, what are you expecting in Dudley? Well, we went to a Tollworth, didn't we? You know, for baby things that will show with Prince Patel, you know what I mean? And it's, can it get any worse than that, do you think? Or similar, just... I wonder if Prince Patel will come and support you because you went there to support him. He looked a bit nervous, you know, when I like... When I, put, I didn't put it on him, but I just went up to him. He's a little flyweight, isn't he? So, he's five foot, five stone. You know, I'm six foot two. I was about 14 stone at the time, so... He was taking, like, deep gulps, you know, when I was talking to him. You reckon if I message him to ask if he's going to come down to support you on Saturday, considering you went down to Tolworth, which is like five hours away, yeah. will he come up, up to Dudley? I don't know. What's he doing? What's he up what to? What if we were in your corner? Yeah, that would be good, you know. That would be a bit of... That would actually be YouTube gold, Prince Patel, which I would call it. I don't want to turn into a gimmick, though. You know, it's all like pantomime, like Frank Bruno and that. Silly. But... You're looking to fuck this guy up on Saturday, aren't you? Yeah, I'm looking to mess him up. You know, really do him in. Because my fights are boring, you mm. know, when I used to box. Mm. It always goes to points, or I got a couple of stoppages, but people want to see knockouts, man. I'm gonna knock the black guy out. You know they say power's the last thing to go uh, on boxers. What's gonna be the last thing to go on Tyron Booth? You know Nassim Hamid. You know he's like 16 stone now. And you think he hits harder now than when he was like nine stone featherweight? He's got that extra weight behind him. I've been watching your Nassim Hamed videos. Forget, forget Nassim Hamed. I want to know what's gonna be the last thing that Tyron Booth's gonna lose. Is it gonna be your power, your speed? I never had anything anyway, I was alright, I was a decent boxer back in the day, but I was a guy who just turned up, you know, to box people like Eubank at four days notice. You know, I used to work in this horrible factory job and just trying to balance training and working in a fucking factory for 12 hours, you know what I mean, but... So, I'd say I've come a long way since, but yeah, I just, whatever. Do you reckon this potential journey could take you, I don't know, you're going to box maybe three, four times a year next year yeah, if, that's, if it all comes it. off. Yeah, yeah, defend yeah, that. Yeah. If you win that belt, defend it, unify it. It's turning into a gimmick, isn't it? It's, turning, it's getting silly. It's getting ridiculous. If somebody gave the opportunity to unify all the white collar belts, would you go for it? Bro, you know what? Unify. It's not even a fall from grace because I was never up there anyway. I was always down. I think this is a little step up. I do want to get a belt though. You know, I have a few little photos with it. How does it sound? And show off the belt to a few women who don't know about boxing. That's how I used to. That's how I used to bang women from the dating apps. Yeah. I used to have photos of me with like Kel Brook and mm. Billy Joe and you know people like Joshua and that and Ami Khan. I get the feeling you're at a stage where you want to settle down. What with a woman? Yeah, I, nah, I, I man, get this, that. I get that vibe. I don't bro, know. this tour's this tour's just getting going. You know what I mean? Starting off in Dudley. Well, I don't want to. You know, whatever. We'll you see. might end up fighting Miss, finding Mrs. Booth in Dudley. Yeah, we might find a ring card girl who's a fucking potential wife. Have so you, have you heard it. of a Dudley accent, by the way? Yeah, from around they there, say yeah. that Birmingham accent is the worst accent in Britain. But Dudley's, it's a lot more different. Can you do the Dudley accent? Yeah, it's... it's Can you do accents? I don't want to offend anyone, but... 
Do you want to do it? It's not the best. I just, yeah. But you've heard the promoter. The promoter's rang you a few times. Yeah, I've had to swerve him, you know. I've had to, I've had to fucking ghost him, man. It's too much, isn't it? Too many questions. I don't want to get bogged down with tickets this and tickets that. That's how we start this interview, but mm. we kind of turned it around a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> turned I'm having a good a time. Bit, yeah. Well, in between the interview, we've been told off to get out of Meadow World. We can't film here. What do you reckon they'll do next? Do you reckon they'll like, bring, like, because the security guard came on his own, do you reckon they'll come with, like, a couple of guys next time and uh, try and boot us out? Try and act Because he had his shoulders tensed. Did you notice, like, the aggression that he was trying to show? Can't there? put muscles on the chin. That's yeah. what Naz said to somebody. I was watching a Naz interview the other day. Oh, Naz went to a prison. You know Brendan? Yeah, yeah. He used to take Naz and, like, Johnny Nelson and them guys, you know, to prisons and he'd get the prisoners to try and hit, you know, them guys. Yeah? Yeah. And Naz would, yeah. That did, That's did, what me and Lee Wood did, you know, in Knots, and yeah. Cash Ali. Did, did, this guy nearly knocked me out, you know, this random cunt in the street. Cause I was just like moving around, but he caught me with a good shot. And I had to grab hold of him for dear life. So does that like mean- Like I should have done against Eubank. So does that mean- All you, I had to do is get through 30 seconds. Is that, is that your record on the streets? Bro, I was nearly out, man. But, um, but just jokes aside, I'm, I'm interested. You're no, busy. I'm not even joking. Are you not joking? No, I'm not joking. I thought you'd been sitting No, I, I nearly got chin, man. Shit. Because um, Brendan used to say, like, the, guy, the, the guys who were the sort of like the hardest guys to fight are the ones who don't know how to fight. Because he hasn't got that trained mind. Mm. You know, when you first go into a gym, you talk left, right, left hook, left, right, left hook. He's throwing like windmill punches from different angles, you know what I mean? So. What? This guy's staring at us up on the stairs, you know. You see what? this guy here? Yeah. Yo, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's wrap it up, yeah? He's staring, isn't we've he? promoted the show. Yeah. Dudley, the show. We're November the 11th. We're going to wrap it up because this guy's giving us evils. Yeah, man. Thanks he's for tuning like in, his, yeah? Um, like he wants to take you out. Yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's wrap it up, Let's man. wrap it up. Time booth. We'll yep. see you Saturday night. Be safe, everybody. Be safe. Have you ever been stranded on the side of a motorway with a broken down car? Like me. Is that something that worries you? That's where Motor Breakdown Insurance comes in. If your vehicle breaks down, a trained professional will be sent out to get you back on the road. Or if this is not possible within the specified time frame to transport you to your home or to the nearest garage.